Right, so each lap of the track just in excess of 400 metres. Well, there's the first part of the lineup for this first heat, with the first five to go through. There are the rest. Well, I have to say that uh, Makisi Benabab is a class. Twice the Olympic silver medalist, twice the World Championship bronze medalist, the European champion at 1,500 metres, indoors and out. Missed last year through surgery of an Achilles, his right leg. He is absolutely one of the few men that has challenged Africa in this uh, 3,000 metre steeplechase event. Zalewski of Poland. He's got a, an 8 uh, 19 91 this season. He's an 8 16 man at his uh, best. <laughs> Akdag from Turkey. Rakaba, Neiman, Akdag, Mazugi, Bamusa, Hessel. Jörg of Denmark, then Rob Mullet of Great Britain, tucked on the inside there with uh, the seventh uh, lane out. Let's see who uh, wants to take this on. Look at um, Makisi Benabab just sitting right at the back of this uh, field as they go into the back straight for the first time. And uh, Carbo of uh, Norway. Stringing out down the back straight now, I have to say. And the qualifying criteria here of the first five in each of the two heats, plus two or five fast losers over the two heats. That gives an incentive for somebody here who maybe feels that he's on the periphery of automatic qualifying to ensure we've got a decent tempo through the first kilometre here. And one of the men you can see who's cotton on to that is the Briton Rob Mullet, who's had the season of his life, 8.22.42, which gives him a real chance of going through to this final. He's there in third place. It's the uh, Israeli at the moment who's leading, but they're already well strung out, and even Makisi Benabab has had a step, step forward from last position here to start making his way through the field. He can respond to anything that he's thrown at him at this level, but it is interesting to see that men at the front are ensuring that we've got a decent tempo. It means that there's a chance here that maybe just more than five men might qualify from this first heat. Actually, it is an advantage to go in the second heat when you know what the tenor of the first uh, heat was, so that you know the um, sort of uh, speed that they ran at and uh, the top five that you've got to get in. Bloomberg of uh, Sweden is in uh, third place, just behind uh, Rob Mullet, and it looks as though Akdag of Turkey, a transferee from Kenya, took uh, Turkish citizenship in uh, 2011. Former circuit pacemaker, actually, in this race. You can see him moving up along with uh, uh, Rob Mullet. He's now ahead of Mullet now, just chasing um, Carbo. Carbo's three times the Norwegian champion, but he's an 8.35 man. Well, we are just going to leave this race for a couple of moments and uh, join Jonathan down at trackside. Bella Lova Bulgaria, 200 metres, a great performance, Yvette, in the semi-finals. Were you happy with that? Thank you. I'm really happy. I was looking forward to come here to enjoy such a beautiful weather today. So let's use all these things, let's have fun, enjoy on the maximum, because you never know. So when you're happy, when you're healthy, yeah, you should, you should go for it, you should do it. You mentioned it was weird because the semi-finals was your first race. Would you have preferred to race this morning? Uh, no, really, no. But it was weird, you know, because you don't have any chance for, you know, a mistake, a warm-up or anything. Usually the heat, the qualification, you just pass like a warm-up. So I knew that I have to be ready today. You saw Dina Asher-Smith also ran 22.57. You look, you look forward to a good battle with her in the final? Absolutely, she's a great girl, so we are going to enjoy the race tomorrow, I'm sure. And we will enjoy watching it, well done. Thank you, thank you so much.
Well, Rob Mullett is uh, up there for Great Britain and also uh, Akdag, as I said. He was ninth in the Olympic final in 2012. Very experienced, of course, former Kenyan there leading. Akdag Abamusa, the Italian there, the, was third in the Italian championships, incidentally, with three laps to go. It's, uh, it was absolutely steady to start, and then the Turk, former Kenyan, Akdag, took it on and pushed it along. And now this is very important for the Briton, Rob Mullett, twice the UK champion, tenth uh, more recently in the Birmingham Diamond League, but that was a tough race indeed with the Africans there. His 8.22.42 set this year, was ninth on the UK all-time list, and they're bunching, so it slowed just a little bit in the back straight. There are 11 men there together, Stuart, so it is just the first five who get an automatic place through. They're into the second half of the race now. The next time to keep an eye on is going to be somewhere around about five and a half minutes when we get to the two-kilometre point, and that's coming up in, what, around about uh, 300 metres or 200 metres, something like that. But Mullet, he's got to work hard. The rolling shoulders there, you can see him in fourth spot, just alongside the Swede. Yes, coming up now to three laps to go. Leader is uh, Agdag of uh, Turkey. In second place is uh, Bambusa of Italy. Then on the inside is Bloomberg of Sweden. Rob Mullet of uh, Great Britain is there as well. And they're stringing out once again. And uh, right at the back, Mahdin Bekhisi Benabab of France. Just watch him in the final stages when it matters. He's got such terrific basic speed as a former European 1500 metres champion. And uh, he's still right at the very back. And all of a sudden he's starting to move out just a little bit to give himself a chance here. But this is giving also a chance to Bambusa of Italy, who's really gone out for this. Mullet is there as well in second place. But they're about uh, seven or eight metres behind. Behind him is uh, Bloomberg, then Akdag has fallen back, Devar is there as well, and uh, so is Zalewski of Poland, as they come up with a couple of laps to go, and this is certainly Bamusa who's really trying to cement his place, he's got a best of 8.32. So... It's a big lead, Mullet in second place, Bloomberg in third place. And, and in fact, the Turk... Um, Akdag has really fallen way, way back to the back of the field now. And the favourite, Makisi, you can see, has dropped himself still right to the back of the field, so we can expect a big move from the Frenchman. But this is a bold old bid. Two kilometres was passed in 5.45, and that's a number that athletes in the second race will certainly be making a note of. But look at the European record holder. He's just cruising through the field. He's made a big move in the last 200 metres. Well, he needs to. He's not taken too much out of himself thus far. And uh, it really is they're closing down on uh, Bamusa, and he may well have done a little bit too much here. The pole coming into uh, second place at the moment, looking very good. Zalewski was the European silver medalist in 2014. I saw him in Rome. He was seventh in the Roman Diamond League. He was in Birmingham seventh with one lap to go. And uh, Mekisi in third place. So Zalewski... Balmusa and Zalewski, these two. And then Makisi in third place. Mullet is now dropped back into fifth place, which is the first five to go through into the uh, final. And also Hesselberg of Denmark. Hesselberg of Denmark has moved into position down that back straight. Look at Bennett. Look at Makisi Benabab. He's now in the lead. Zalewski is in second place. In third place is uh, Bamusa. In fourth place behind him is Hesselberg of Denmark. Oh, there's a faller and it's Bamusa. Mamusa went down, the Italian who did so much of the leading and establishing the tenor of the race. And here comes Mullet down the straight and also Martos. 
Mekissi is going to come home in first. Zalewski in second. Hesselberger and then uh, Martos, the Spaniard coming through, and Rob Mullet to take the fifth place. In fact, Mullet gets fourth ahead of Hesselberg of Denmark. And those five go through. 8.31.43. It doesn't matter about the time. It was the first five for qualification for the final. And the next five fastest losers. Now, the rest... And the second heat will know exactly what they've got to do. Well, the time's been rounded down to 8.31.42. It was Bamusa, the man who tipped up there at the water jump, who came through in sixth spot. So it is uh, very possible that that four would deny him a place in the final, which would be rather rough justice. But he will have to wait and see just how quickly or otherwise things go in that uh, second heat. But, well, it was if, as if the European champion had the rest of the field on a string, wasn't it? Yep, it was. He is the class act. I mean, he's far, far better than anyone else in this field. Remember, he's uh, been very close to eight minutes his best, 8.00.09. He's on 8.20 this season, but he's not really been pushed at all. When you've got the strength endurance and you've got the speed endurance emanating from a 1,500 metres uh, European title, he's, he's, he's classy in there. And there's Mamusa uh, going down in the final water jump. That comes down to a lot of uh, fatigue as well when you're coming off that barrier into the water. And... Uh, well, that was easy, wasn't it, for the number one, by far the number one. We'll confirm all that in a moment. So the men in the second heat, they've uh, been set the target. They're going to be looking to clock something like 2.50 a kilometre. Well, they'll just update you on the result. McKissie, Benabab, 8.31.42. Zalewski, Martos, Mullet and Hesselberg 